Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. We're at Bud's Creek Motorsports Park in Southern Maryland, and at the risk of being TMI, I am absolutely drenched in sweat. Could be the humidity or the heat of competition, because this is Baja SAE, where college students from around the country and beyond put not just their engineering skills, but their teamwork skills to the ultimate test. So let's go check it out. Baja SAE is a student engineering competition. Uh, we have schools from all around the country that uh, build design uh, off-road four-wheel drive vehicles. Um, and the goal is to become better engineers is the biggest thing. Each year, SAE International holds three Baja events around the U.S. Upon registration in October, teams must purchase a Relco 429cc gas engine. From there, it's entirely on the students to design and build a competition-ready vehicle that they will eventually beat the crap out of. We have a pretty extensive rule book that they have to follow in the build of their car. Um, we have the ability for them to ask questions throughout the year to our techs. And many of the techs are Baja SAE alumni, giving back to the program that launched their careers. I started with Baja back in 97 as a student. Uh, I competed for uh, four years. Uh, after I graduated from RIT, I moved on to Honda. Uh, worked for Honda and took over uh, the technical inspection. So we're looking for compliance to the rules and we're also looking to make sure that safety, that the cars are going to be able to go out there, compete for four hours and make sure we have a safe event. For some teams, just passing tech is a challenge. So this is Davidson's first time at competition, actually. We are a liberal arts institution. We are not an engineering school. Um, so it's actually a whole bunch of physicists running around and trying to make um, our very first Baja car. Unfortunately, we ran into some technical difficulties this year, um, and we weren't able to bring a cart to competition, but we still really wanted to learn. Tennessee Tech has been competing since 1977, and with 12 victories, they know what it takes to cross the finish line. It really comes down to having a good management and leadership structure to where there are tasks and responsibilities that are delegated out to where everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing and you just check in with them and make sure that everything gets taken care of. So we have an acceleration event, we have a um, maneuverability event, a hill climb event, and then the suspension and traction, which is behind us, um, all culminating tomorrow in a four hour endurance race, which is wheel to wheel racing every car um, on a mile track. As you can imagine, accidents happen and things break but these young men and women can fix just about anything. Still, it always helps to have someone with experience looking out for you. So I'm the faculty advisor for the RIT team. I've been doing this 30 years. I like to make sure that the students know I'm their advisor, not their supervisor. So it's really a student-run team. And I always say, I, I offer suggestions, you make decisions. The students are um, doing everything on the cars. It is a true engineering challenge. And it's not just the engineering, it's the team management, the time management, the communication, right? It's those skills that the real world demands. And when it's chaos, you know, someone has to take charge, someone has to give direction, someone has to be working. So, and our teams are very, very good at that. And some of our sponsors say that when they see Baha SAE on our resume, that, you know, that's a, someone they would give a very, very good look to. 2026 marks Baja SAE's 50th anniversary, and they'll be celebrating throughout the year. Best part is, the events are open to the public, and they're always looking for volunteers. Anyone that hasn't seen Baja, once they see it the, for the first time in person, they're looking for when our next event's gonna be. I love listening to the kids cheer when they finish an event. Um, just, it's the best. The Motor Week app, which includes our latest reviews and feature stories, is now available for mobile devices.